BVTV. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to BVTV. Uh, we are here for another final. We have the ladies' state pairs final. Uh, the match will be played between Mary Trigar and Kylie Whitehead from the Ovens of Murray. And they'll be playing the mother-daughter combination of Cheryl and Samantha Atkinson from Drew and Streslecki. My name is Josh Thornton, and I am joined by Victorian State player, multiple state winner, a Vic Open winner. The list is too long. Tris Dolan. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Should be a good match. Should be a great game. I'm looking forward to this, actually. So we've had a bit of a unique twist with this event. Um, Sam and Cheryl played this morning in their semi-final. Mm -hmm. They defeated uh, Kate Bush and Di Hands from Goulburn Murray. And... Uh, Mary and Kylie just basically stepped off the green and they defeated Olivia Cartwright and Cassandra Merrick in a nail biter. Uh, well, they actually, both, the very both games game. were nail biters, yeah. yeah. Um, Mary and Kylie come from nowhere. They were eight down at one stage. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, got three or two on the last end to win the match. That's it. <laughs> Olivia Buckingham, how are you? Yes, I'm good, thank you. Nice to hear from you. Happy anniversary, I think I saw on the socials today. Of course, I played Olivia in the Australian Open. Ah. Yeah, Olivia. Oh, that the... Olivia. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, we have Mary and uh, using a Taylor bowl. Yes, those big orange bowls. She's yep. played with those for years. Uh, Cheryl... Is using an aero bowl, I believe. Yep. As is Sam, whose bowl just come down, and she's got that trifecta bowl. And Kylie using a XGs. Yes. Kylie, of course, super skip at nationals. I played three to Kylie. There we go. I knew there was going to yep. be a connection there. <laughs> Here she comes. Just speak of the devil. Nearly got it. So they've started with a medium length end. Mm -hmm. Now, I, uh, I've watched a couple of games over the last two days. seems like Sam and Cheryl have been in a, in a nail bite at every match they've been in. Yeah, um, all three games. There. So if that's any indication of what kind of final we're going to get, it's going to be good viewing at the very least. Mm -hmm. Great, Great shot, Sammy. Mary had a marathon day yesterday. She had uh, pairs matches and a single semi-final. Who got her in the singles? It was Di Wash. Yeah, yeah Washfold. Yep. Yep. Who, geez, she pushed cash all the way this morning. That was a great game, wasn't it? What a bowl, Kylie. Kylie Whitehead. Two bowl process, put her back bowl in. And yeah. Then <laughs> Mind reader and you know, thinking ahead. Yeah. Hey, Benny Winther. Hope you're well. Here we go. David Clark. Are you? Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> Olivia. Yes. Same, same. Are you? You'll be there, JT, won't you? No. Oh, no. Nah. Had enough of that. Uh, well, my plans have actually changed literally in the last couple of days. I was planning on going to Darwin in June for a holiday with my, my wife and my two kids. Mm -hmm. We may not be going to Darwin now. Uh, we're still going to go on a little holiday around that time, just mm -hmm. maybe just a shorter one. But I think now that I'm, I've got a Guernsey to Perth, um, yeah. the crew might be coming to Perth awesome. as well. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I'm sure you've been mentioned just a few times on the live stream. You've had a busy time. You've done extremely well. Thank you. Trying to be humble. Yeah. It's hard sometimes. It, you don't wear it well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worked out well for Mary and Kylie. A little lucky. A little yeah. tight, but the right weight. <coughs> yes, yeah, Emma. She was super skiff and she was also captain of the country last, last weekend for City V Country. Was Kylie Whitehead? Yeah, I've known Kylie a long time because I am originally an Ovens and Murray guy. Mm -hmm. That's my home uh, area. She's always shy at first, doesn't want to speak, but she keeps getting these gigs. She was captain, which means she would have had to speak in front of her players. She doesn't want to chat. You know, I, this is what I know about it. And I got her on the live stream last night, and once she yeah. opened up. Yeah. 
She didn't stop. Now, the same question, obviously you said you played third to Kylie. Have you played with the same in the state side at all? Yeah, um, Sammy played a test series uh, against Tasmania at, at Karingal. Karingal. That one? Yeah. You're in the same so ring So I was not in the same rink, ah. but same team. Yeah. Not in the same rink. I commentated that weekend. Oh, did you? Yeah. It was freezing. It was cool. Yeah. We had everything going. We had the hand warmers. We even had the USB plug-in vests going on underneath. Serious? <laughs> yes, seriously. It was cold. It was really cold. <laughs> I'm going to laugh out of breath then. All right. Uh, we do have one other game going on two rinks across. It is the uh, quarterfinal. And uh, we have Jen Lawson and Brody Harker from Murray Mallee, both from Club Barham, playing against... Olivia Cartwright and Brad Campbell, Moama slash Benigo Compassby Goldfields. And uh, currently, Murray Malley. I'm not, and I'm not going to shy away from my bias in that situation because it's where I am these days, are currently leading 2-0 to zero after one end. Should be a good game too. Yeah. Um, obviously, Olivia's been in great form winning at state singles this week already. Um, I have the pleasure of playing with Brode and I'm near Brode and he's in some good form of himself. Yeah, Bradley, yes, you're very observant there. Uh, picking up the fact that Ian Brimblecombe sitting at the back, just won a state title and having a nice coke afterwards. Another good ball by Kylie. They've got three here at the moment and good yeah. position. Yes, Jody Fruins, that's right. Grandma Anne is sitting inside watching closely. <laughs> when the sun put, goes down, it does get quite I've cool. just put my jumper on. Yeah. Here comes Sammy. She's close, I think. She probably didn't need that touch. If she got under yeah. that bowl, she was probably every chance of making some connection there. Okay, so Carly's got a free hit here for four. She could, even if she turned the bowl of her own over onto the jack, could bring the back one as well. But I think the object True. is obviously just getting the, the fourth one in there, if she can. Yeah, you'd be happy with that as a start, wouldn't you? How's she looking? Speed's looking all right. I think the green... It will slow down at some yeah, stage. Yeah, just slightly. These Still coming, though. I think it's counted. Oh, fell back. I was talking to a greenkeeper yesterday or the day before that said about 3.30 is the bewitching hour that the green starts to change just hmm. slightly. Up here. Yep, she got in. Four it is. Great start for the Amazon Murray pairing. If you were in the position of the two teams, you had one that obviously played early, got in and had the rid of the rest versus the one that just played but played on a different green, what would you have preferred? I was thinking about this earlier actually. It's a, look, it's six in one, half a dozen in the other. Like it's, I think either is okay. I'd probably prefer to just come straight off and go straight on okay. rather than sit around yep. for a few hours myself. What about you? I think I am the same. Yeah, I think there's others that would actually wouldn't mind the other way. I know that for a fact. I've spoken to people about this, but me personally, um, with my body, if I cool down, hard for me to warm back up again. I'm getting old. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that. I think Tony mentioned when he was commentating my singles that I found muscles that I didn't know I had when I was recently <laughs> exercising in squash. Um, yeah, I'd rather just keep going when I'm warm. A rather longish end. Yeah. Three quarters. Uh, I'd nearly say, I'd say long. It seems to be reasonably close to the tee, although just the camera might be giving that. It's probably a metre away from the tee. Is there? 
There you go, David Clark goes he'd rather rest than playing on two greens. He'd like to Yeah, see, everyone's different. I think there's arguments both both ways, to be fair. I think what Jimmy did made it super fair in that circumstance is that he knew that one had to go early, so he played them on the green they were going to play on, but having the rest, whereas he didn't want to give them the advantage of playing on the green just before coming out and playing a final. So I think he did a very good job in organising that. Yep. I'm not just saying that because I work for the company. And no, okay. I look, just think that's a pretty I good think fair the whole week's been organised extremely well. Like well, we've got one extra day now, so yes. it kind of spaces it out. We're not yeah. as jam-packed. We do have an occasional third session, you know. Yeah, I was talking to Jimmy about that, Jimmy and, that, and Tony last night about this, saying that I remember times where we were finishing at 11 o'clock at night. Um, so we haven't got any of that. We're getting smarter. Yeah. Bowls are always handy. So you're left in what this week, Tris? I'm playing fours tomorrow morning. Is that Josh? it? Josh, yes. That is two it. events this year? Three. Three? Have yep. you already played in two already? Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm missing one in my own head here at the so moment. So I had the singles. Yes. yes. And then we played the pairs yesterday and we lost ah, in the quarterfinal ah, yes, to you Liv and, and Cass. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies. That's I okay. That's, it was a really good game, to be fair. It was worthy of – it was a very good game. It has – unfortunately, you have to have one, one winner. One winner, one loser, unfortunately. And, of course, they just played um, Mary and Kylie – in the semi-final. Mm. Hmm. We've had to work around them a little bit. Yeah, haven't they had a great tourney? And then, again, why this game's been played is because Jen is in another event, as is Brody. Hmm. Well, Works for Sam. Yeah. Had good speed. I must say, how spoiled have we been this week with these greens? Just yeah. Just gorgeous. Very, very good. Great weather. Yeah. Shout out to Greater City of Bendigo, who is our partner for this event. And uh, as well as Moama Bowling Club, who are our live streaming partner. What's up next for you, Josh? Rest. Yeah, have a little bit of a break. Yeah, yeah. no, I need the rest. A um, bit of family time, which is cool. And region sites, yeah. Yep. So that's about a month away, we worked out. Month tomorrow. The region sites? Yeah, 26th of May it starts. Yep. I sh has your region site been selected yet? It has. So I assume you'll be playing for Yarra? Yes, so uh, lucky enough to be inside. Rink. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so looking forward to that. Are you guys in gold or silver? We're silver. Okay. That's all right. We uh, haven't had a couple of good years. That's fine. We'll uh, work our way up this year, win mm -hmm. silver, and uh, dominate gold next year. That's it. That's the plan. That's it. I was talking to someone about the other day, last year, I remember. It was that a Chica Moema? Mm hmm. Didn't have a good first day. We know that. We won our first game on the sad day. And then we lost the next five games on the last end of the day. Oh, okay. There's, uh, you know, so it's something we've got to learn from. And, uh, and, what's, the, and what's the lesson there? Just Play better on the last day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play better Keep earlier. Keep the intensity going yeah, longer. Yeah, something like that. That was a great shot by Mary. Yes. She started well so far. Brad Alls made a comment there saying, I'm kidding myself. Uh, I'll make a prediction. <laughs> Gold will Murray be down in silver it's very soon. Probably upset a few people watching, but anyway, I'll just make that little prediction. <laughs> That'll get, get people talking. Uh, the ones that have still got the men and the women, hopefully they'll get to play beside each other. I think they will, yes. Yeah, I and think silver. so. Yeah. Someone asked me that the other day uh, and I said, I think so. Make sure to be, mate. You're good. Get another roll on yours. I'll beat that. 
Oh, Mary had good weight again then. Just hung a bit. I don't even know why he's watching the live stream, Brad. All he's up in Cairns at the moment with his family. You should have better things to do than watch a bit of bowls. Yeah, surely there's other things happening up there. Oh, that's a good effort, Cheryl. Good speed. Gee, she's been, she's been, mm. she's been great yep. this week. I've been watching her play. The game against uh, Sarah and Christine, her last end was very telling. Yeah. Afternoon, Emma. Yes, we are bringing out new uniforms for region sides this year from Murray Mallee. Oh, good. Is there new much of a change? New hats, new shirts. Yeah. Um, maybe even some new cloths. Yes. Um, probably steering away from the predominant white. Mm hmm And uh, going to more trendier. Good call, David. Yeah, that's another way of uh, fixing the solution of <laughs> losing every game on the last end. <laughs> yeah, good thinking, David. That's what you should do. Uh, I think there was a question coming through on our messages then about what bowls Sam's using, and they are arrows. I believe that's what the question was. Yeah, they're newish for Sammy too. They're definitely arrows with that colour yeah. coordination. Yeah. needs to hold, she's saying, and it does. She, she might get a... Well, she's still kind of rolled through. I think she might be down still. One down, maybe. I remember a State Falls final a couple of years ago that Kylie played in. Mm-hmm. And it was up there with some of the best skipping I've seen. Brad's having another dig at me by that comment. <laughs> Do you skip? Yeah, I'm skipping your region side, okay, yes. Okay, yes. yes. There you go. There, there, there. I knew they were dynamic. Arrow. dynamic. Three heavies. She's jays all over it, even called watermelon. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah it kind of looks like a watermelon colour, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that match we live streamed, and it was uh, her. It was an Ovens and Murray team, as you could imagine. I think Air Miles and Claire Sanders might have been in that ring potentially. And um, they played Lisa Phillips, Kelly McKeon, Courtney, and uh, yeah, she was unbelievable. Kylie. Yeah. Yeah. She's I think that's who we're playing in the morning, actually. The Ovens and Murray, Kylie, and. And Claire, Claire and, and Lorraine. Lorraine, yep. that's it. And what's your ring? Here comes Sammy. Yeah. Let's oh, just watch this ball. She's oh. she, she might have had the kitty if she didn't she get that was, little feather. She was probably right on target then. Oh, yes. I think it's going to be one to Evans and Murray by the look of it. So it's five to zero mm -hmm. after turns. Um, what were we saying? Oh, who, who is your ring? Yes, that's what I was asking. Okay, so I have all MCC girls. I could imagine. So we have Denise Hewinder. Yes, I know Denise. Yeah, from New South Wales. Correct. I remember. I actually yeah. remember her from when she was in New South Wales. She played St John's Park, I think. Was it? Well, I reckon I come across her when I was an RBM out at Dubbo Way, but I reckon I went to some meeting or she was at a club, a bit more Western then versus mm -hmm. being at St John's Park. Yeah. But I definitely remember Denise from then. Uh, and Sam Robinson slash Ty, Samantha. Know who you're talking about, yep. Yeah. And, of course, Alison. I was going to say, it's yeah. going to be Alison then. Yeah. No, so it's we've a, had that rink for a few years it's now. It's a very solid rink on mm. paper. Mm. Oh, better than solid. Good. Good rink on paper. <laughs> we have some good, strong players in the ladies at MCC, I must say. You do? Mm. The rink next door has played three ends in that mixed pairs quarterfinal. The Murray Melly team is currently leading 4 3 after three. You 
Uh, there's a pump up for you. My earlier co-commentator. Oh, says thanks. Did I? We were actually wondering if you were still here. She must have gone. We were looking for her earlier. We were. Yeah. When I did some tag teaming, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your subs. She did a great job on the live stream. She's good. Yeah. Very good. She's a good lady, Sarah. And James was on too. We had him on partner. yesterday morning. He was good. Mm. Now, if you'd ask me, and I say this with all due respect, <laughs> if, if I thought James was going to get on and commentate with me, I would have said no chance. <laughs> but to talk about bowls, Snorkel was fantastic. Yeah. And he was great. Afternoon, Rob. Sean Ingham's mum. I know you extremely well from back in my Queensland days. Here we go. They've headed home. At work tomorrow, and then back. I know that because they're playing in the triples. Of course. Yes. yes. Oh, that's right. I did remember that you had work tomorrow, Sarah. <coughs> I hope the weather stays like this because I think it's meant to turn on Friday. The triple starts Friday, doesn't it? Friday, Saturday, I think. I heard Thursday's a little bit of rain, not much. Okay. Might get cooler, but I don't think we'll have these glorious days we're having. It was hot today. Well, I've been under here most of the day, yeah. so it's, you don't kind of feel it. Here's Kylie. Yeah. Just a... Fair bolt. Yeah. No one's shadows on the green too. Do you think that affects it? Actually, we can relate on something and see whether we can actually compare notes. So the one game I remember about a shadow mm -hmm. was straight open pairs for me going back six years ago. And I played the, the side of the rink where the sun would actually come finish up and obviously put that little bit of grandstand over the green and it crept onto the green, I reckon, for the, on my line for the last two ends. Yeah. And I still remember my second last end. Terrible end I played. I dropped too short and then I tried to overcorrect. Yeah. Played happens. the other side and went into the pit. Oh, and uh, so I, re I reckon the difference. shadow did impact it. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Does. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's no doubt with this, the way that the, the green is designed at the moment. We're getting a little bit of shadow on this rink. It's not consistent across the rink, but particularly down this end, there is a little bit. And that's what I was going to say, compared to you, Dad, did you experience that at all in your final? Yeah. Um, I was probably earlier in the day, so I don't think we no, actually had the go. shadows to contend with. Oh. This is a great shot from Sammy. Just draw a front hopper. Takes a measure out. Great bowl. Mm. Hello from South Africa. Hands. What are the greens like over there? Do you know? I only know one person that's gone there, that's Baz, or Baz and Carla went there one time. Mm, and yeah, that's right. Slow, I heard. But I don't know whether they're all slow. I played with Colleen Webb-Picketh from oh, South yeah. Africa in the Oz Open one year. Hmm. It was a great shot, Casper. One of our regulars on the live stream. Casper's always joining us. Mm -hmm. There's Vinny sitting up the back. Tarelgan. He's had a win today and Pidge. He's sitting next to Mark Atkinson. So it is. Great speed for Mary there. Mm. So you were here for the service this morning? I was, yeah. It was great. Mm. Um, Gary Ryan, who I know quite well yep. from over this way, delivered the service, uh, an ex-serviceman himself, so that was fantastic. Oh, I didn't know he was an ex-serviceman. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I actually didn't know either, but yeah. he announced it, you know. 
That was good. It was beautiful. Yeah. If I could use those words. Brad's doing some fiddling around here. Bit of picture and picture. Yep. And Shackett, I don't think Vinny's taken a breath the whole game. <laughs> Generally doesn't. <laughs> Coming from you, JT, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I know. You know. Yeah, but I can make fun of myself, you know, so. Yeah. He may even be watching because he's checking his phone now. He normally Not chimes sure. in. He'll, he'll yeah. have a comment, you know. He's tapping away here. That was a really good shot from Mary then, that just last attempt at, you know, just that niggle weight, I yep. call it. You know, three foot through, gave the bowl a chance and it's got catches. Well, that hand has been the turning hand, more so than the other side. And uh -huh. um, you got chances of getting the bowl off and or turn the jack around the corner yep. there. You just, you know, a foot, two feet, a yard away. Oh, he's awfully close here. Oh, it's really close to just drawing it. She flops down. She'd nearly have it. Mm. Sammy looking just to land the last ball. Yeah. There's still a bit of finish on these bowls, isn't there? Keep rolling. Oh. I was talking to Cass about her game last night. She didn't think it, when she, she expected it, it to drop off, it didn't drop off nowhere near as much as yeah. she thought. Now, I think Kylie's on a high line. Not getting down. It's got an opportunity here to sit the ball for three. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Be good score to get off the mark. She's a little high. Tried hard. Didn't it? And they get. Looks one for me, but yeah, angles are deceiving. Yeah, but it is. <laughs> On the scoreboard, 5 1 after three ends. Game is 15 ends. Two and walk pairs. Mm -hmm. Or 2 2 2 2. Which one do you prefer? Walking pairs or three ball pairs? I prefer this one. Yep. But I still think both have uh, both formats or any formats of pairs has got merit. I reckon that's good that we've got a bit of variety and have different formats and different things. Mm -hmm. As is at the state championship, and it's kind of traditional. I like the fact that it's two and walk still. It allows both players to play a couple of different roles. Yeah, one and three and two and four. Yeah. Mm. I tend to agree. Still a few tournaments out there that play that way. But as we know, um, our opens are generally three ball pairs because it's probably more of a TV product, you know. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine. It's a bit slower with the walking, isn't it? Hmm. Bit of weight going, weighted shots happening next door. Yeah, Brad Campbell played a couple of weighted shots. Don't mm. think he got a result, which means Murray Malley must have scored. Yes, it's now 6-3 to Murray Malley over mm -hmm. Bendigo Compassive Goldfields. And uh, Spike over there is giving me a wave, which is perfect. He's keeping the scoreboard up to date. Spike is the bowls guru from Barham. Okay. What Spike wouldn't know at Barham and bowls, it's... Wouldn't be worth knowing. Barham. Is there yep. a golf course at Barham? There is, yes. I think I've played yeah, golf they've there. They've got a brand years. new undercover green. Yeah, right. It's brilliant. <laughs> I 
I will come back to that, David. I'm just watching this bowl. Yeah. Great starter, Cheryl. Great shot. I take it there's a story in that, JT, oh, about three bowl triples? Come up, and three bowl triples is the most boring, <laughs> mundane game I've ever played in my life, and I refuse to play it pretty much, so. Okay. Tell us what you really think. Well, it's purely a skipper's game. I've never and, played it. Oh, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Two bowl triples is a very team oriented game and everybody contributes to that game. Agreed. That's a good correction for Mary too. Yeah, two bowl triples can be brutal. The lead is is absolutely crucial. vital very because crucial. there's holes as opposed to fours. So there's a lot more holes in triples. So if your lead's on, you're not gonna lose many games. Correct. Absolutely spot on. Just noticed, Sam's got a pen that she's using to score, which is colour coordinated with her shirt. Oh, she has to. Wow. Yes. Guys don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, her line was perfect then, but she's just pulled up a little bit. Kylie not far away. Just a little quick. Give the ball a chance. She just said, overdid it. How often do we do that? We overcorrect. She's got another two anyway. She's still slightly quick. Uh, afternoon, Karen. No, I haven't been told which game will be live streamed in the morning. Um, just trying to think of what stages of matches we'll be up to. Probably every chance a mixed pairs match might be getting done at some mm. stage. Um, Down to the pointy end. We start men's singles as well. Singles. Ladies fours. And the only first round. Yeah. If uh, anything to go by with the men's falls, they'll probably sparingly use the the ladies' falls, only for the fact that there's so many people in the ring yeah. and you get too many people standing in the way sometimes. Even stupid mm. skippers do as well. <laughs> um, I was talking about that earlier because, of course, we live stream Prem games in Melbourne mm -hmm. now, so yep. we have a lot of our Panic games live streamed. And it's hard, it's difficult. They're talking about actually marking the greens in the future with lines and saying they have to stand on the outside of the line. Well, that's what I was <laughs> telling our guys <laughs> in in our match. I said stand on the outside this line, you'd be fine. But then as soon as the ball come down, I just went and stand smack bang in the middle. Yeah, and watch the ball come yeah. down. You forget. Good question here from Jay. Yeah. Right, eh? uh, she notices Sammy frequents bowling with her foot on the left of the mat. Do you use a mat match to change your trajectory? Um, I do, I do. I mean, I try not to. I try not to unless it's absolutely necessary because I do think you can get lost if you start moving around the mat too much. But um, I certainly do. If I'm trying to get around or under a bowl, I will move where I stand on the mat. Or if I'm playing a particular upshot, I'm trying to get under something. Yep. Yes, is the answer to that. How about you, JT? Spot on. Same yeah. thing. Yep. Try and have the same standard for mm. every draw shot. Yeah. Depending on the circumstance. Open the arc up a bit or... Yeah. Because, of course, millimetres down this end equals yeah. metres, so to speak, up the other end. Correct. Bowl here for Mary. Still one down, but there's another one there that they can use. If they can get a bit of jack movement down the line, they'll make three or four. Yeah. So now Sammy will be just looking to arrive on those orange bowls, I would think. Sit for two. Cover the danger. There you go. 
go. Casper does too. Sam on a good trajectory here. It's all on a speed. Great oh, ball. That's a good shot. Very good ball. In, this situation, in this situation, though, too, I've got to say it, like, even if you trail the jack and take it with you and maybe go one down or maybe just get one, Correct. it's better than the opponent trailing the jack for four down or potentially five down. Correct. I so agree. I will often play their shot, even though there's a risk. Yep. Because, I'm, right... I'm, yeah. I love that call. Yeah. I same. You take the way that danger of five sh five shots, yeah? Correct. Just saying there's a super trail on for Kylie. Yes, there is, and she has two looks at it, so. Not sure she's getting down. So this is the hand that can hang a little yeah, bit. So you yeah. just got to try and find that line. Particularly any bit of weight, it hangs. Yeah. But I was talking to Aaron Tonkins this morning, and he was telling me that particularly if the jack's close to the tee, you can p pinch it tight and it will hang Bit of home yeah. green advantage there that he was telling me. Okay. No good to these two four out here at the moment. It's interesting because I played on this the other day and sort of felt like there were two lines to the jack. Like you could go skinny and it didn't kind of punish you as much as yep. you thought it might. Well, it's been moved about half a rink of yeah, the okay. so There's an element of that as well. That's semi done. She's nearly drawn she's another one. She's got the cover. No, she's, she's drawn another one. The only thing is, it's another one for Kylie potentially to sit if she is trying to trial it still. Yeah, so it's three to the Atkinsons. I like the idea, in the circumstance of the game at this stage, to still try and trial it. Mm. You're five one up, so if you, if you do drop a three, it's not dire straights. Yeah. But if you get the perfect, you know, jack down the line... You're you, sending a real message. Yeah, it's <laughs> really hard early. Yeah. And, and you're probably thinking on something like this that you might actually look for, like, you, if you're going to miss, miss Skinny, because if she slices the jack, it goes out to the left where they've got the other bowls. So in her mind, she's probably thinking, I can afford to be a little... Just keeping quiet. Oh. Change your hands. Interesting. <laughs> oh, Okay. So it's three. All right. Very good end for the Atkinsons. Yep. Five, four. Played four ends. In for a cracker. Well, we nailed it early. We said the Atkinsons have been a nail biter every match. So yep. why would we expect anything different? I think Sammy was saying that her matches have gone three and a half hours, three and a half hours, and four hours. Something like that. Long games. I'll definitely have to sub out. Me too. Jimmy's done nothing pretty much all week. <laughs> Look at him, even Brad nodded, you know. <laughs> like, seriously. I think Brad's hungry. <laughs> <It's dinner. laughs> I've got the dog at home, so I've got to deal with that at some point. been nice to be able to get away and have some nice weather as well. I was down the lake today at Lake Warona in Bendigo. That's Beautiful. Right. I was nearly going to say oh, the great start wrong there, thing. Cheryl. I was going to say, say different. I was going to say Lake Wendere, but that's yeah, Ballarat. It is. They both start with B, but <laughs> you've got a fan there, Mick Collingworth. He's my second opponent. Long suffering. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm long suffering. I have to deal with him every week in pennant. 
Oh, now they're really honing in, aren't they? Well, Look at it. Mary. Good shot. Don't worry, you'll either send me a text and say you're something. <laughs> or reply on you. He sets himself up every time because he's got no real right Here or we reply. Go. What a oh, reply. Cheryl, Cheryl great shot. It's on a good trajectory. Let's get under that front pole. Gee, she wasn't Oof. far. Another one around about so. Yep. And opens it up for her partner. It's been a few... Um, Kangaroos on the green today, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never let that one down, will I? Hey, look. <laughs> nice one, Brad. That was the ultimate brain fade, that. Yeah, were you dehydrated or really hydrated? One ah. or the other. No, it wasn't really hydrated. That would have <laughs> been a, that would have been a far better excuse to a point. Bow here, Sam. Sammy. Oh, hides it nicely. Shot. <coughs> of course, Andrea and Peach sitting up there behind in the seats. They got out of a close one earlier. Yes. It was very close. Kyle's oh. awfully close here. She's got it. That's a great shot. One down, but has opened it right up. Great ball, Kylie. Mm -hmm. uh, Vivian, Cass and Livia don't play another game. They got beaten just before here. That's why we have Mary and Kylie playing in this final. So close. Mm. Of course, I'm playing with Pitch in a couple of weeks in the um, Ashes at Sunbury. All right. Yeah. In the over... <laughs> Something side. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, no, Careful. I, I, uh, I hesitated. It's the over 30s versus the under 30s. I actually nearly, nearly said different number then, so I'm glad I did go on with what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. I wasn't trying to be mean or anything like that. It was just I couldn't remember what it was. Well, anyway, the Ashes are with the over 30s, I must say. So we got it last year. I think Soph's got some fly-ins, I'm told, for this year. Oh, She's really? Some marquee fly-in players coming in to... Oh. Right. Yep. Bringing out the big guns. That's it. Casper's saying, great ball, but no result. Well, she did open it up, yeah, though. It's she still a result. Yeah. It's, it's been able to actually get at it now, and she nearly drew a shot anyway. Yeah. And Sam just did the little finger trick. Do you do the finger trick? I do. Yes. Do you? Yes. We're talking about bowls now, though, aren't we? <laughs> oh, that's really inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> HR. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, once I learnt how to do it, I, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm very rarely incorrect with that. I kind of, it's very reliable. I believe, I agree. Hmm. Uh, Kevin hasn't started yet, Vivian. He starts tomorrow. What's Kevin in? He's in the singles and the champion champion singles. Right. He's got to play, I reckon, Chris Young in the state singles. Mm -hmm. And he's got to play Brody Harker in the champion champions. Okay. Good games coming up then. Okay, Kylie's just standing jack high for Mary. Some people like that, some people don't. Do you like people to stand there and show you jack high? Uh, so occasionally, depending on the circumstance. Okay. 
Score update, Rowdy. Uh, Brody's currently Brody and Jen are currently leading six five after five ends, and I think he's got shot. That should be shot. Yeah, you're in. Good shot. All right. Mary's probably going to drop a yard on her last. And Brody did get to that end. So now Murray Melly, Brody Harker, Jen Lawson leads 8 5 over Bendigo, Compassby Goldfields, which is Olivia Cartwright and Brad Campbell after six ends. Mary. Looking for chances through the hole. She's got it. Well done. Got it clean. Killed the end. Great shot, Mary. Great sportsmanship there from Cheryl too. Cheryl Atkinson was clapping. Little that. clap. Yep. yep. I do the same. So do I. Um, Without pumping up my opponent's tires too much. A good shot's a good sorry, shot. If, if, if I like him, at least. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so they'd have opted to return the bowls back from the same end. Mm. What's your t what, do, what do you prefer in this scenario? I always go with wherever most bowls so are. Do I. Yeah, because I'm thinking I don't need to kick or roll heaps of bowls. The people rule sticklers on, oh, we they had are. a good end, let's go to that end again. Some people seem to think or know that they've won more in more direction in one direction than the other. I don't have that recall. But they've forgotten the end that we just played. So. What's the ruling? Do both skips have to agree or whoever's got the map makes the decision? What is the ruling on that? Um... <sighs> Someone will know. Pull the law book out. Yeah. I actually don't know. I just go with whatever I want to do. I think if anybody wants to go back to the end, they just come from, regardless of whose man it is, I think that's... That's the rule. I feel like that's the rule, but don't quite yeah, mean that. that. I'm sure there'll be an umpire sitting here on the live stream at the moment. Mm. I'm also the type of person, if I knew the other person didn't want to go back down there, I'd probably go, let's go back down there anyway. <laughs> Just to keep it interesting. Something like that. I was uh, having a good chat to Air Miles and uh, Roma Opie and Jean Fairchild there earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, I've known all of them through, well, particularly Anne for a long time, and obviously Jean and Roma now, a lot more now that I'm in that region, and I was just telling them some of my little gamesmanship tricks I use. Anything else you want to share? No. Nope. <laughs> You're not an umpire, Brad, but you're probably right with the answer, though. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he's had a beer tonight, Brad. Right. Every chance. It's Anzac Day. Yeah. Not you, Brad. Brad on the comments. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Everyone's saying the same thing. That's two good bowls from Mary. Yeah, good leading. Great start. They've had a bit of a battle, the two leads, and yep. no one's gained any ascendancy over each other yet. Brad, why? This is what, you do this every now and then. Our technician actually <laughs> throws a comment. You got to, you got to buy a law book, Brad. That's what you got to do. I've usually got one in my laptop bag and my bowls right. bag. Okay. Do you know exactly where to find this information? Yeah, in my laptop bag and in my bowls bag. <laughs>
Roll there from Kylie. Probably the best one. Yeah, that's probably number one. Great reply there from Sammy. Yeah, fantastic and went bowl. with it. Oh, just holding up. Yeah, looks like two. Two, right. Yeah, see, on the screen it looks different to from where we seated. Mary's bowl looks a bit closer. Kylie not far away here. She's got a chance of turning that bowl in. Yeah, she's got it. Maybe yeah. be shot. shot. Great bowl. <laughs> Shirley, who is winning the footy? I know I can check up myself on my phone, but I was hoping for a new little draw between Collingwood and Essendon. <laughs> who do you support? Carlton. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we've gone fantastic the last two weeks. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, Essendon is five goals in front. Right. Wow. The G looked beautiful. I was watching yeah. some of that with the um, all the present, all the opening day for the today for Anzac Day. It's great. Yeah, Carlton's no good last night against St Kilda. So I'm Carlton as well, actually. Oh, Cheryl, what Shot. a ball! Out in the open, new game. Yeah, it's been a tough couple of weeks for the Blues. <laughs> Ty Gardner, umpires are crap. <laughs> there are great balls going on. Mary's just going to draw the absolute here, I think. Cheryl, great shot. Great bowl, Mary. Mm. Tit for tat from the leads. Measure, according to ITO and Summerall. Looks like Brody and Jen are holding two or three shots over there at the very least. The one bowl, the two bowls I do know whose they are is Jen's using the maroon bowls mm -hmm. and Brad's using the yellow and blue bowls. Oh, Sammy doesn't like that one. Actually, wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't far away at all. Mm. Carly's definitely arriving. She'd nearly be down now. I'll make a prediction. Yep.
Yeah, I don't think our mark wants to indicate just yet. She's sort of still saying the measure. Yep. Mary says they're down. Another, th another three to the Murray Murray mixed pair over there. They now lead 11 5 after seven. Kylie's just a fraction tight. We'll be all square here in a second. They're calling no, for an umpire. umpire here. Yes, Marika, it is a great game. Isn't it nice to see um, family playing together, mother and daughter as well? You got any family to play? No, no. Can't say we've come from a family of bowlers. We were more golfers in my family. Mm -hmm. What about you? My grandfather played. That's how I got into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, now my dad and my brother play. But they, My dad's probably five or six years. My brother... I don't get how old he is, to be honest. 10 years, 11 years he's been playing. How long have you been playing? Coming up 29 years. That's the started young. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you when you started? 13. Okay. With your granddad? Yeah, he was, That's yeah. He was cool. the one who got me going. That's I watched great. him play a club singles final. He won it. And, uh... Oh, I'm dying here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, um, I was trying out different sports that stage, and the rest is history, they say. Jay's got a question for you, Tris. Are you still favouring the Henselite XG3 heavies? Yes, Jay. I have to declare I'm with Henselite, so, yes, I... But I do genuinely believe that um, Henselite is a great all-round bowl for... Um, Especially in Victoria, Victorian Greens. Ooh, two one hundredths of a millimetre, Cheryl's saying, was in that measure. Rightio, that were obviously the laser measure but Mar coming out. Mary's eyes were right. Mary Mary said she thought it was Atkinson's shot. Mm, we'll back Mary in all day now. Mm. Shane said, what a day. Great games of bowls on the TV. Perfectly cooked rotisserie chicken and Collingwood getting done. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's one of those hard ones when you're a Collingwood supporter. Do you like either side? No. I don't. Oh, no. No, not particularly. But as Carlton supporters, like, I probably... Essen just a smidge better than Collingwood, but let's be honest, neither are really up there. My wife is Collingwood, and she's Ooh. converted our oldest to Collingwood. Sorry about that. Kind of. Like... Oh, Daddy, do you like Collingwood? Mm. <laughs> no. But I'd hate to see being heartbroken now. So I've got that little... Yes. Game. Yes, Laurel. That's, we're not biased much. <laughs> Pardon the pun. No. It's a good one. So, Kylie and Mary won the first two ends, a big score in the yeah. four, and then Cheryl and Sam Atkinson have gained the ascendancy back. Great shot, Mary Tregar. Yes. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Yeah. Just edged back. Yep. They did get a three themselves. So, five ends. Is it three ends to Atkinson? If we were going on ends? Okay. Yes, yes. Three correct. versus two? Yep. Yeah. Benny Hubba, how's Slack sending them down next door? Slacks is sending them down very well, Ben. He's referring to Brody Harker. That's his nickname, Slacksy. Of 
course, Ben will be up here in the next few days for the triples for Yarra. What's their team? It's him. Dino? No. No. Joshy Callers? No, no, no. Come on, was, you're, on the, you're was, on the board. You're on the board. You should know this. It was Damon DeFlorio, oh, yeah. who is away. This, so he's gone off swanning around Tasmania. So they've got a super sub, which Ben's gonna, Benny's just going to put it in the chat for us so that we, we know because I can't remember. I could look it on Bowls Link. Yeah. I could. There you go. No such saying congratulations to you. Used to play bowls with Suchi at Cora. Oh, I heard you saying that about Cora actually. Good question on that. Okay, this will be good. Um, what am I checking? Men's triples. Is that what I'm checking? Men's triples. Brad Swartz has won. Pretty good shot from Sammy. Ah, oh, Schwartz, yes. So he's the fill in. And Josh Corliss. Chop. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I told you it was chop. Well, I did say that. <laughs> I'm going to tag out for a couple minutes. Uh huh. Rest the throat. It's going a little bit. Okay, and then you can swing back in and I'll tag out. How are we going? Hey, Jimmy. Welcome, Jimmy. What's happening? To the commentary box. Oh, we're at 555. Five. Yeah, right. Mm. I've watched absolutely none of this, I've got to be honest. Um, too busy getting ready for tomorrow. Well, Mary and Kylie got off to a quick start. They got four on the first end. Yeah, right. Um, and the Atkinses have just been edging it back. Getting, so it's five all now. I feel like they've been involved in a heap of close games in the last couple of days in this pairs. I'm pretty sure they went to an extra end in their first game. Um, had a very close game in Northern Gateway. It was a tie break, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. pretty sure it went to an extra end. Yeah. yeah, they've had three, Sammy was saying. They've all been down to the last shot, yeah. pretty much. That takes some mental focus, that. Just to back it straight back up. Yeah. Can be draining. There you go. Welcome back, Jimmy, from Casper. <coughs> Good evening, though, isn't it? We're ticking in the evening. Hope you're well, buddy. So what have you been doing if you haven't been watching? Getting ready for tomorrow? Yeah, there's, we've got a big day tomorrow. Got, um, as you would know, the women's fours, you're playing in that. Mm -hmm. Also, um, so that's last 16, and uh, men's singles kicking off two, and some mixed pairs games also. So just getting the rink drawer and the scorecards done and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, we're ready to go now. I'm that sort of person, I can't, if I leave it overnight, I'll be here at six o'clock in the morning because I want to make sure it's done and ready to go. So for the way my brain works, it's a lot easier just to do it before I leave. Oh, we were saying before, you've done a great job with the scheduling. Yeah, it's worked out it's all right. Huh? Yeah, it's good. Close or? Oh. The Atkinsons will be here tomorrow also. Um, the dad, Mark, or the husband, whichever yeah. way you're looking at yeah. it, he's, um, he's playing in the singles. He's against uh, got a tough game first up, Kobe Cromie from Geelong. Yeah, right. You've got a tough game first up as well, and you got Collie in the morning, dear. Sure do. Yeah. It's right on the cards out and it's all then. Yep, Kylie and Claire and Lorene. So that'll be, and Anne Miles too? Yeah, Anne, Kylie, Anne, Lorraine and Claire, yep. So that'll be uh, a former National Fours total rink that you're planning? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. great. I'll just, <laughs> just, just an easy just start for the interest. Just into yeah. it. <laughs> That's exactly right, yeah. I think they won it last year, the national title. Uh, well, if you're going to win it, you have to beat them all. Correct. It's the right attitude. Right. Sammy with some uh, work to do here. Yeah, she's two down, I think. She's going to rake through, you reckon? Has to, doesn't she? Playing the forehand. Going to land the ball or trail the jack. A little bit wide, I think. She's got a bit of a limp. 
we know? Have we spoken about this or not? We haven't spoken about this, but you're not the first person that's asked me about that in the last few days. I don't believe so. Mm. I think it's just... Soreness or something, maybe. Yeah. And he'd be one of the uh, coolest customers in Dawn Bowls, Kylie Whitehead. She seems unfazed by everything. Indeed. Same every time, Kylie, whether she's up by 10 or down by 10. Yeah. She could undo this one of Mary's. She was very close with the miss. Yeah. She look. Well, they got taken out by a kangaroo. Kangaroo, yeah. <laughs> JT kangaroo. They, they are. That's close, Sammy. All over the green, these they magpies, are. aren't they? <laughs> they are. We have them at one of our venues all over the green, but that's because one of our Smitty feeds them mints. Yeah, so they mints. hang around, yes. <laughs> so Kylie just looking to add here. Cracking comment that Shirley. Just getting stuck out there in that pack mm. of bowls. Be a couple, we reckon. <laughs> yeah, Shirley. Granny's inside watching through the window. Um, she's Isn't probably chewing tough. some fingernails. She's amazing, cheers. Queen Anne. Mm. All right, through six. We are now seven five. Mm. Mixed pairs happening, um, quarter final, a couple of rinks over. Uh, Brody Harker and Jenny Lawson lead Olivia Cartwright and Brad Campbell. So it's Murray Mully versus BCG, 12 5 after 8. Green will be just starting to slow off a bit now. Mm. Just that little bit of pace coming out of it. As we click uh, to uh, 5.35. And this is a, a challenge in itself, eh? Just managing the change in the green. Yeah. To ever adjust. It's, it, this time of night, I find personally the hardest to mm. at twilight, just as it's not quite dark and it's still not yeah. light. I suppose as a player, the f you've just got to mentally just make sure that you're trying to play through, you know. Just yep. not that these greens will be slow. My God, the greens have been beautiful. Yeah, Tonks does a cracking job. Mm. Right, see if Cheryl can uh, jump on this one of Mary's. She's played it pretty well. Great reply. It's uh, the nice start and the clap from. She's been daughter. very steady over the last few days. I've been watching her. Yes, yeah, Snickers. Granny Annie. Hmm. A bit of a legend. Yeah, she's got more of an English accent than me as well. She's. Uh, she has too. She's, yeah. She's more northern than me, so <laughs> that tends to. Tends to be a bit stronger up there. Fair adjustment, I think, from Mary here. Just hang around. Oh, yeah, just missing. Good home, though. Yeah, she gave it a chance. If you're short with your first, you definitely don't want to be short with your second. Good work, Scott. Jealous, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just one, Scott. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, Cheryl. Yeah, top Great stuff. Great shot. Top, top stuff. Maxine, don't think of it like that. Whatever's Kylie's won, that's what you've won between the two of you. Just think of that. So between the two of you, you've won. And then list her resume. 
Craig Morris saying that Pidge has it sitting down the back and <laughs> <laughs> There he is. <laughs> he just loves bowls, does the Pidge. Yeah. Kylie Couple down. We were talking about this format with, you know, two mm. bowl work, walking pairs. It is it is good to be able to play one and three and two and four, isn't it? Oh, just yeah, under. She, she was close. Yeah, correct. It's um, the only thing I, the only, I mean, I mean, I'm talking at my level of bowls, not yours or any of these players on there because it's above mine, but in this format, there's a tendency to try and win the end early. Like in a game of fours, you, you're deliberately building ahead. True. Everyone plays their role in this. If you're not thinking about it, like real on it, it as your second Kylie here, and she's also the skip in this, she can Great shot, Sammy. go hunting early. That's true. You that's actually a really good point. You don't build ahead and then you're four or five down. But that's yeah, again, so that's true. my level of bowls. I'll make them mistakes. Oh, I think you are talking yourself down a bit there. <laughs> she go. She's close. Yep, Great good shot. stuff. Second shot. Yeah. A measure. Yeah, two four two, Eric. You see a bit of that, but you normally see that in in training. There's not. There are club competitions around that format, two four two, but. Ooh, pots it right to the back. The Sammy will be holding two now. Mary's another one who's played a stack of bowls the last few days. Hey, she yeah. She's had an amazing season. She was the triple singles winner in the Ovens and Murray region. She won the over 60s, um, and then she won the singles and the champion of champions. Did which she? Is, yeah, that's a, it's a huge effort in a region like Ovens Massive. And Murray. Has that ever been done before? That's massive. I think it would have been done in another region, but I don't yeah. know about Ovens and Murray. Um, I did not realise that. Yeah, so she's played a hmm. stack of bowls. She had a very tough opening game in the singles. Um, came up against the eventual winner, Liv Olivia Cartwright. That's in the state singles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The champion of champions. I'm trying to use uh, my brain. Wash what, die. Yeah, die, you're right. Yeah. In the semi final last night. Yep. Spot wash on. Wash Yep. She's my new favourite player, die. Well, I was pretty amazing. <laughs> Same. I was like, this morning, I was watching her game. She played really well. Shot from Mary. Um, and she's just a real nice lady. Look. She was real, um, just happy to be here and complimentary mm. and enjoyed the experience and yeah. had a great time. Well, she she they roped John Curtin in as her coach. Yeah. And she she evidently she came by herself, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot from great Cheryl. Shot, Cheryl. She get the jack. Whoosh. Good shot though, I think. Every chance. Look at the shot. Mm. Marcus sort of I think the Marcus saying it's still one to Mary yeah it looks like it from here Mary clearly likes someone to stand Jack high for her she's asked yep. a couple of times now and that's this time of night I was talking about it's hard depth perception can go a little <laughs> yeah it's what goes first really isn't mm. it Especially if you're not used to playing at this time of night. Like a lot of us would just probably be in the bar right about now after training or something. Like, is that enough? Yeah. But, um. You do night bowls, don't you? You play night bowls? I, I don't play any bowls, but yeah, I mean, I watch a lot of night bowls and yeah. with our Premier League streaming. But oh, you know, yeah. you, even yeah. in them games, you notice the green, even between, like, we usually yeah. start at 6.37. 7. Between yeah. 7 to 8 and then 8 to 9, it, it changes and changes again. She's got as close as she can to our Cheryl, with probably over that getting the chocolates there. Still one down. There you go. Morty just answering for us. Probably Joy Johnson yeah, would have right. matched her. It's a fair effort. Yeah. That's why there's a tournament named after the famous Joy Johnson. And then how many times 
with one club have taken out a singles and a champion a champion title and it's been two different people look at Cass Millerick and Livia Cartwright doing that so Liv's obviously lost in the singles at the club somewhere but gone on and won the state stuff and yeah Cass has lost somewhere along that I was wondering about that. I wonder if they entered everything, the both of them. I reckon they would. They're the type mm. of people that do, especially singles. They're both exceptionally good singles players. Kylie needs to do some holding here. I'm just going to run in them orange ones. Yeah, Pitch is going home to rest up, I reckon, Craig. He's got his quarterfinal the mixed pairs tomorrow morning. Who are they playing? Uh, they are playing. Uh, Testing your memory now. Uh, I know this. Ask. I know this. The reason I know this is because oh, Julie Simpson from Gibsland, who they beat, is also in the fours tomorrow. They're playing Vinnie McIlwain and uh, Christy Vanderhoff, his partner from Streslecky. Well done. <sighs> Hard to dig deep. <laughs> Brad, our technician, just zooming around, showing you the beautiful it's done in her. sky tonight. Oh, Sammy okay. lining up Sammy out. Sammy is lining up here. There she goes. Close. <laughs> oh. oh. I love that She call. liked it. <laughs> I love that old Shezza to her mum. <laughs> it's brilliant. Gee. Try doing that on purpose. Through that gap. Oh, the footy's got close. Four in it. Yeah. I don't even know who I tipped. I think Collingwood. Maybe I tip. Can't bring myself to tip Collingwood for anything. <laughs> Kylie. Needs to miss though. Where's that Jack what going? A shot. But one down. Good I shot. Did wood. Who do you support, Jimmy? Melbourne. But I'm a pretty fair weather fan. I do it for my 11 year old, 10 year old. He's a nutcase for it. I'll just take him to and from and know the theme song because it's also the Melbourne Bowls Club theme song. Mm -hmm. and that's about it. It was a, there was always a lot of danger on that shot for Kylie trying to add another. And even if she kind of tried to real finesse the shot, she would have probably left it jack high and given more opportunity for Sammy to get into the head. So, look. There were one bowl in four probably if she did get rid of it. Sammy was on the drive anyway. So, one down's not the end of the world. And it happens, right? And and when it does happen, you just don't want to, don't dwell on it. No. Nah. It does happen. It's only one. Well, her and Mary were having a little chat while um, Sammy was getting ready to play that bowl. And don't know what was said, but you can imagine it was something like that. Just yeah. forget it. Move on. No All good. One day and sometimes, one sometimes uh, you weren't you weren't here, but we we're talking about it earlier. Where if there's a super trail on for four or five, sometimes even if you're holding, you you give it away because mm -hmm. you trail the jack for one down. But you'd rather you do it than yeah. your opponent yeah. go five down. So, as you said, maybe it took away that one ball in the head opportunity as well. I'm sure, uh, with Mary's experience and Kylie's experience also, they'll that'd be fine. Yeah, let's move on past that. Kylie as a jackaroo will be doing heaps of training around that, I imagine. Oh, the poles are in front. Of course, I played I played three to Kylie at the Nationals mm -hmm. this year, and she's just very even, very steady. Yeah. Really lovely to play with. Great start from Cheryl. Yeah, she's... Just one of them characters that just doesn't get phased, really. Just even keel the whole mm -hmm. time. Oh, it's into the 
second half of this game now. About as even as you can get, and pretty much all our finals have been this even. Men's pairs earlier, goes down in the last pole, the last end. Cast 25 20 this morning. Um, Liv Cartwright. Try to remember back then, now. Who did she beat in the final, Liv? I you about singles? Mm hmm. Ah, uh, Nick. Nick's McKenzie, was it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, that was a good tussle. Men's fours, obviously. For own JT picking that up without having to play the last bowl of the last end, but it was all tied going into the last end. Cool. Drive on the rink next door. Just saw the jack go flying out and into the club room wall. Yeah, well, talking about Joy Johnson earlier, uh, Barb. Superstar Gilbert just said she won all six titles that happened to Murray in one oh, year. Oh, there you go. That's yeah, ridiculous. Right. Oh, that's right. I remember that, actually. Oh, six. Yeah. You know what? What's the most you've won in a year? You've done three or four a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah, four. Four. A couple of times, I think. You're a, an event manager's nightmare, <laughs> No good if you only go one day in, though, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Warnable one was hard because we were all oh. crammed in and it was that was really hard because of COVID and... No, it was either run it like that or it doesn't get played. Yeah. It was insane. That that was my first event. Well, and I'm getting still there. did a good job getting it, it run. Yeah. yeah. It, it, we were there, me and Barb were there, 6.30 every morning. One night we didn't get, we didn't leave until after midnight. Never forget wow. it, Ethan Higgins. We're all close when Nathan Murray in a singles game and he's, it's about five to midnight. And he's drawing his hand. watching that. Yeah, and he's drawing his hand on his leg and I'm like, bowl? That's bowl, Ethan. <laughs> I want to go to bed. That is a good home. Yeah, great home. from Cheryl. Of course, you went to the awards night last night, Jimmy. Yeah, the um, Bendigo Combustive Golfers. Yeah, good night. I mean, there's not many of them do it. Um, mm. Regions are still doing awards night. Um, they they time theirs every year for when state champs is on. They always invite a couple of us from the office, which is great. We'd love to get out to them events. And they uh, did a terrific job celebrating all their pennant winners from the three playing areas they've got within the BCG region and then also all their runners-up and winners of the state events. Do you think that more regions should do it? What are your thoughts? Uh, don't know. Um, I guess so. I think it's always good to celebrate people's achievements. And I know there's been talk of it at Yarra, but... Well, don't get Matty to organise. You'll be waiting forever. <laughs> I saw Nick Shortis put it out on Facebook, actually, yeah, asking I the question. So I didn't see that. Which uh, I think that's where I sort of I think I read a few of the comments and went, okay, not many do it, but yeah. Um. Okay, so Mary's got an opportunity here. She can land the bowl, trail the jack. Mm. I guess it's slightly easier in a region like BCG, and it would be easier in Metro because the travel isn't as big. But you look at somewhere like Murray Mallee, where they're going from Mildura to yeah, Barham. Um, trying to get everyone together is a bit of a hike there, but. But there's certainly some regions that could do it. Geelong would be another candidate. It's pretty easy to do. I think Mary's trying the, for the. She's trying the mm -hmm. rake right through there. Just, just missing a line. Oh, she wasn't drawing. <laughs> it was a very bad effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably 
in. It's the call from Sammy, so it could be. That's risky going for that then. Yeah. She's close. close. This, she's close this time for hold. the bowl. Ooh. That's an unfortunate result for Ovens and Murray because it's made it a bit trickier mm. too. Like they did have one sort of sitting there to land. Can get you excited a jack high bowl, huh? Is yes. When you're down to it, you're like, oh, I can sit that. Play and, that's the jack. You, and that's when you can actually drop numbers, which yeah. is we're saying. Like you start trying to. Four shots. Um, that uh, that mixed pair's quarter final. A couple of rings down to 12, no, uh, 12 6, sorry, after nine for um, the Murray Mallee representatives. Jenny Lawson and Brody Harker over Liv Cartwright and Brad Campbell from BCG. He was, um, someone said to me, I think game one of uh, the live streams of state champs, who you're looking forward to seeing, and he was one of the people I mentioned, Brody Harker. He won both singles titles as well as the mixed pairs up in Murray Mallee. Yeah, right. He, um, did Brody play pennant at Bandura? Correct. Yes. Yep. I thought, just looking at him, thinking, yeah. yeah, okay. He's got a bit of Josh Corliss about him. But he has, uh, He's yeah. very similar. <laughs> like he's, he's, a, he's a bigger build. He but played against him. Yeah. His mannerisms and he wears that bucket hat as well. Yeah. Chopper's changed his hairstyles and <laughs> his uh, facial hairstyle a fair bit, but he's got that same mannerisms. Kyle, he's going. I think he stayed with Chopper when he came down too. Yeah, he can. Both bowls. One. Sammy's just asking, are they still holding four? And the market's sort of... Uncommittal. Yeah, keeping it a secret. She'll let us know after this. Need a, need a clutch bowl from Kylie here. Yeah, I think she goes back on the draw here. Yeah, I agree. Four and a measure. Yeah, Mary's calling for the draw. <sighs> Probably wanted a thin edge then, hey? Yeah. Thin edge, she was really good. Oh, well, this could be a uh, game change in this end. It could be. Because what it puts um, the Atkinsons in front for the first time in this final. Yeah. See, that's tricky, that last bowl. Because, you know, in your head you think you've got to be up. She ended up just slightly overran it, but she had more, she had options. Girl's just measuring. Using all three greens tomorrow morning, Jimmy? Yeah, we are. It's uh, 20 rinks tomorrow. Which discipline's up on this one? A mixture. It's a oh mixture right. on all of them. Okay. Let's keep you guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get some intel, people. I know, He's I giving know. me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but there is literally, like the, yeah, there's a mixture on every single green. So the way, for the, well, it is a four. That's a big four. Yeah. Five, not four. Five? Five. She's holding up. Wow. Yeah, roll. 11 7. That is a huge pickup from. Uh, Massive. Cheryl and Sammy. Changes the complexity of this game massively. However, we'll caveat that with the fact that Mary and Kylie. We're down from end one until end 15. 
yep. against Cass and Olivia from yep. BCG. In the Got a three on the last end. To win the game. Yeah. So they are not out of anything. Yeah, I think we'll be kicking off with um, some men's singles to stream in the morning. Mm -hmm. That field is ridiculous tomorrow. It's like a take your pick of what game you'll go. And that up against the women's fours, you, singles is better That's to stream than better. fours. <laughs> way better. <laughs> better to watch and stream <laughs> than fours. Yeah. But we'll probably Great sne start, sneak some mixed pairs in at some stage. It's yeah, because it's down to the pointy end. It's a ripper of a start from... Uh, well, they're talking about in Pennant, because, of course, we stream the Prem in Metro Melbourne, it's putting lines on the green so that people have to stand outside of the lines because it gets busy. You say this, but, look, you you forget. You say this, but oh. look at this shot on the green now. There are already lines on the green. <laughs> That's <laughs> if, true. If they just stood wide of the lines on the green, we'd be laughing. But, uh, yeah. Like, Great reply, Mary Trigar. Top stuff. I think the only thing is some electric shock device or something. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> like a dog collar? Yeah. You can just yeah. zap. Yeah. It's the only thing that'll work. I mean, Eve, I mean, the worst offender for it, um, well, now he's the new worst offender, is uh, Josh Thornton. He was absolutely horrendous in the men's force final. We couldn't see a single thing. He doesn't care. Yeah, well, we care, and so do the viewers at home. So do the millions of people watching at home. We all care. And any reason we can uh, get stuck in a JT is a good reason. So I'm sure it was a great final, but... David Clark, someone get Mark a blanket. He doesn't want to get too cold. He's got to play in the morning. No, um, he's got a coat over his legs now, he though. He has. It's not that cold, though. It's beautiful, actually. We've been really lucky. I remember a few years ago, it was horrendous. Yep. I remember, were you, I don't, were you involved in ga that game? No, I reckon it was Northern Gateway Sandbelt. Um, women were, we pulled them off and said, just come back in the morning, because it was getting horrendous. And then the rain started, and it was starting to get spongy. And uh. Yeah, they're good. Well, I did the classic, what I did how I'd manage them situations. I pulled them all in and said, what do you want? You guys decide what you want to do. You can't decide, I'll decide. And they couldn't decide. So Good <laughs> I on said, you. Right, this is what's happening. Right. It's going to pull up short from Sam, mate. Try and get Tone to tag in for you, Tris. You can have some. Yeah, I'm going to go in. I'll give him a text Marina. now. Just send him. He can see us. I know, okay. I've just seen him come back. I've just been waiting for him to come back. I don't know where he went. Wash his hair or something. <laughs> Doesn't want to wash it too hard. It's falling out anyway. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm going to head off, actually, so I'll be watching the live stream. Yeah, that's right. She needs to get behind something, for sure. They're holding one, aren't they? Purple, yeah. Oh, JT coming in at the end of this end. JT or Tony? JT. Tony, eight. Here we go. Oh. It's better, though. Little tap on it. She's going to get it. How did Cheryl get down there already? I missed that. Sorry? I, I don't know why. Cheryl was already down there and Mary was here. <laughs> and Sammy was already there. I'm confused. <laughs> don't know what happened there. That's exactly right, David. And that's part of the problem. You've got to think of the players, not just the viewers. Just let them play their game. And whilst you're playing, you kind of forget about the cameras. I understand that, but to be fair. let's not give JT any leeway. <laughs> he sits on this desk repeatedly, commentating on many games. He moans when people get in the way. The worst thing he did, actually, 
just to get stuck in him even more is we said to him, mate, you're in the way. Like, we muted the mic. You're in the way. And he goes, no, I'm not. Oh. No, no. And we're like, well, we're the one watching, not you. And he goes, no, no, I'm not in the way. And we're like, okay. <laughs> I'm perfect, I think his words were. I'm like, yeah, great. Right, well, this is... Um, Cheryl needs to match this back orange to take away the crack of the egg. Yes, yeah, she does. And the shot bowl. She might crack the egg oop, for them. Oop, oop. Oi. Yes. Sammy's just like, phew. <laughs> just put a mic on Sammy. She's commentating the game from on the green. What do you reckon? We try and pop that jack now. Would you be tempted? Oh, I don't think she's going to be short, let's say. Those big orange bowls will be up and through, I would have thought. Yeah, just going to bend out the head here, though. The one thing I noticed with, uh, with Sammy, because I've watched her a few times on live stream now, she's noticeably more relaxed in this game for me than she has been on in other games I saw her. Is that like I, think, I think that five has just relaxed her a little mm. bit, actually, the last end. She's joking around, she's smiling, yeah, she's comfortable. Yeah. Maybe it's that sort of, you get to a stage like this, it's, it's a huge um, thing to win a state pairs title. And she's been down since N1. Maybe it's that, okay, okay we're in the game. Yeah. We've been in front. Yes. It's okay now. Yeah. That bit of pressure she might have put on herself, she's taken off. But she's definitely more relaxed. I, I compare it to seeing her in, I think it was the quarterfinals or semifinals of the women's singles. The Vic Open? Yeah, mm. and she was very... Tight. Like deep breaths. Um, yeah. I think at these things too, over the time, you've just got to remember to enjoy the moment. Mm. I mean, Come what may. She's playing with a mum in a state yeah, final. How good's right. that? Yeah. But she's, um, yeah, definitely relaxed and obviously in front on the scoreboard now, so things are good. Yeah. And of, with, of course, with Kylie, you'd never know. 20 shots oh, in front, yeah. 20 shots behind. Still <laughs> the same smile. <laughs> exactly right. She's close. So she's yeah, very she close. I already did the jack. She's got the jack. Oh, oh, she doesn't get it through. That is like the stiffest result. <laughs> <laughs> She's still two down as well. It is lovely to see mother and daughter playing mm. together. Good clear discussion there about... Where Jack could possibly go. No arguing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I was saying we're watching the kids at the under eight in state champs last week. Yeah. A lot of them are naming coaches and the parents of the coaches. I was like, it's the, the last thing I would have done as a kid. I remember asking my dad, what should I do? Play this hand. If I played a terrible bowl, I'd be blaming him. Yeah. Dad, it was your fault. You told me to go there. <laughs> I couldn't play it, yeah. I love him, but I couldn't play with him. <laughs> well, what's the mixed pairs? Divorce pairs, yeah. play with your partner. Yeah. I um, I told this story a while ago. My partner, Bronnie, is uh, a non-sports person. Um, she's not really into any form of sport. She'll tag along to the 6 a.m. World Cup game for England in the pub just because she loves the atmosphere, but it's mm. about the height of hers. And I was due to play in a mixed pairs tournament um, at Echuca oh, about five years ago now when I just got back into playing bowls and... Uh, the lady I was due to play with, she was a good friend of ours. She passed away, and rather than pull out Bronnie, said, I'll come up and play with you. I didn't tell her it was three games a day of 15 ends, walking pairs, with uh, dead ends included. And, uh, yeah, she... How'd that go? <laughs> well, we lost the first five games. Here you go, Kylie. She's got to hurry this line. Driss, got to hurry. Of it. Sorry. Another couple. Um, yeah, we lost the first five, and in the last game, we were all tied in the last end. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I killed it three times to try and win. And at that point, she was ready to explode at me. I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go? I said, we're not leaving here. she didn't just walk off. She was fuming. <laughs> she was fuming. <laughs> We actually played against Pat Schramm, our president, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, in one of the games, and she still remembers that as well. But yeah, she's um, she played one other game, pennant for Albert Park when they were short in the third side, and that's about it. I at Albert Park? At Albert Park. Because that's not easy, that green. No, that's synthetic either. stuff. He yeah. <laughs> yeah. was the old one before they got the yeah, new one was, as well. Yeah, yeah, even harder. Oh, I'm going to sub out. Yeah, you go. I'll, wait. I'll, I'll find JT. I can see him. Although he's just walk on walkabout. He's going to the he? toilet. All right, we'll just wait. We'll just wait a minute. It's all good. All good indeed. It's actually not that cold, although I do have bare legs. You in shorts? Yeah, I'm yeah, shorts. You're, yeah. you're a pom though. Yeah. <laughs> Summer's evening. Yeah, balmy. I've got some work to do now for. Um, yeah, there is a bit. Still, six hands to go. This becomes a bit of a key end. You probably don't want to put that pressure on yourself, but I don't want to go down any more. A confident, you're correct. Mm. Send me to my mom. She has corrected. Definitely right about that. Here he comes, the great yep. man, JT. All right. See you, Tris. I'm going Enjoy to say all. goodnight to everybody, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Rest up, mate. Thanks. Cheers. See you, mate. Come on. All right, Mary, trying to get to the bowl or Jack. No word of a lie, JT. I'm not exaggerating, no. When I, Trish said she was getting up to go and you were walking over, the views went down by about 200. They've just plummeted since you've been mentioned as coming back into the hot seat. And now you're having a fight with the head, headset. So this is going real good. Never seen a bloke lose a fight with a headset. Welcome back. <laughs> you got punched up by that microphone then. Yeah, it wasn't doing well, was I? <laughs> got the full combo in, left, right, hook, and an uppercut. Hasn't this game changed since I've left? I was about to say that, yeah. Been it's watching it inside mm -hmm. while we watched uh, Essendon choke it up very, very hard. <laughs> yeah, Casper uh, John was posting the scores in, and it just it was an overwhelming wave of... Seven unanswered goals. To finish the game. Well, we. And I don't even like Collingwood. That's a fair finish. What a great spectacle for an Anzac Day clash as well. Whilst the game has swung, I'm still predicting this game's going down to the wire. It's just a hurry again, Carly. Can she hurry it? She can. Sensational ball. Other games tighten up too. Yeah, 12 10 now. It was 12 5. To the uh, Murray Mully pairing of Jenny Lawson and Brody Harker over the BCG pairing of um, Olivia Cartwright and Peter Campbell. I just said to Tris before he came on, Sammy's relaxed a lot since they've gone in front. It's almost she's taking a bit of pressure off for herself. Great effort from her mom, Cheryl. 
Locks that bowl in now. So Mary can pose some confidence. Mm, thinking the other way. Yeah, I don't mind that because if it screws wide, it brings all of Mary's in. We've obviously been in and around the um, Jackaroos program, JT. Would, do they do specific training on game situations like this? Would Kylie have been through scenarios? and how um. you, Like, they've been in front, they're now behind, still a chunk of the game to go. I'm not sure there's specific drills or training that teaches that outside More of mental just side. pure experience. Yeah. And, and then obviously have the mental capacity to deal with it. They were down by a lot in the last game, so... Very true. It, um, there's that never-say-die attitude that they would have. There is that. There is, like, is there a rule or is it an unwritten rule? Yeah. It's mathematically possible. You give it everything. Absolutely. Yep. If you're in uh, Jackery squad, you do not give it away unless you're, it's mathematically impossible for you to win. from Mary here. Yeah. She's not far away. Yeah, she's got the right way. She's just got to skirt past the watermelon bowl. She does. Uh, not. <laughs> thought it was past there. It's more death perception going off there. <coughs> does open it up now, though. Yeah, a lot more. Viewable. Still got a little bit of a crowd floating around. I'm actually considering, um, as long as Mary's not going home tonight, which I doubt she is, doing the presentations in the morning, so there's more people here to see. Because uh, Kyle is in the fours. Yes. And uh, the dad or the husband, uh, Mark Atkinson's in the singles for the men's. So they'll be around. So it's just Mary. She's no chance she's going home now. Not tonight. Just I like to give the recognition for winning a state title like it deserves with a decent crowd around to present it. I get it, and I agree. Yep. Cheryl standing where she wants Sam to place a bowl. Looking for some coverage. He's expecting and anticipating Kylie to play a little bit of weight. Now we're doing a JT and getting in front of the camera. You must be tired, mate. You're not even biting tonight. <laughs> ah, look, I did it. Can't, can't get it back. Even made a rash statement. <laughs> Feels like you need a big bowl of pasta and a warm hug, mate. No, 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 I'm all good. I'm in a much better mood than I was yesterday. <laughs> I was uh, gone about this time yesterday. That's oh, Kylie gone. Why? No idea. I agree. This is where it gets hard for Mary and Kylie's. They're trying to make things happen. Um, playing them shots through heads. You can lose your weight quite quickly as the green's changing. As we're into the evening. Cheryl. Seven the difference. Five to go. We 
you going to make our 7.30 dinner reservation? It's uh, questionable. We'll have to get straight there. I noticed Lunny commented before about my six goal statement. That was when Nesson was two goals in front. Now, I didn't actually make the, the margin, but I still got the prediction right. Ten ends been played and they've won seven, so it makes sense they're this far in front. And outside the fall, the first end, it would be um, it would be a lot worse. Bobby Carlson. Going to measure the length of this one. Feels long enough to me, but big volley from Brady. I think he's three or four down. Body language says he didn't do what he wanted to do. JT, one coming out, two coming out over there, which will make that game even. Two. 12 all now on 13 in oh. the uh, mixed pairs quarter. Cracker over there as well. So you could hold uh, Spike Larson updating the scoreboard for us. Lawson. Lawson, Larson, Larson. Lawson. Lawson. Come tomato, on. tomato. No. Potato, potato. Cracker start from Cheryl once again. Interesting. She called her Shez and then Mum. I did the same when I played ball with my dad. I called him Shez and Mum. No. <laughs> Lex and Dad. That's a terrible name, Lex. Needs one here, Mary. Right? Yes. Well, behind. Yeah, give that a chance. You can take that. Often you get to play with your old man. Not often. That's a good thing because he's no good at it. <laughs> Whack. Oh yeah. Uh, as you know, I played for my old club under a promotional permit this year. Mm -hmm. He was my leader, and I had my brother a third. And by far, the worst game I've ever seen my brother ever play. He was horrific. I think he gave me one bowl for 25 ends. 21 ends, sorry. They played 21 down in the Murray. Stuff from that. Uh, uh, great ball and Sam. Thank you. 
It's definitely uh, a good level of consistency from the Atkinson's from Strzelecki. They've they're just getting more bowls around the jack. And Kylie's awfully close here. Making oh, Kylie ball. play shots like that, which she's she needed, nailed. She needed to. There was nothing really behind, so she's now taken the danger away. It's a new game. We're almost at the hour mark as well, JT, of me being in commentary. And someone asking if Kylie's my wife or not. <laughs> Normally we get it every stream. The bats or birds? Bats in this town. Yeah, right. How is he picking that up? It looks too dark to even pick that up. But, well, what he's done is he's pointed a camera at the sky, Josh. And he's just copped the image of it. He's got too much time in his hand. Not even getting the right camera angles for the bowls. <laughs> Kyle is right in the way of this camera angle out. Oh. How much... Would that affect your game? What's that? JT. Sammy commentating from the green. Nah, nothing. I'll be, I, I'm easily distracted. I'll be like, I'll be boiling. Or just by her doing that. Yeah. Nah, nothing. I don't know, I'll get frustrated by everything on a ball's green, so. Yeah, so you'd be easy to play against. I would. I, I know I am. <laughs> Oh well, stuff from Mary. Uh, right. Sure, not far away. Yeah, good effort. Mary, that's another here, Josh. Bit of a wall of balls to play through, though. Smash that ball, be, the I'd, three balls. I'd be looking for it for sure. There's a funnel there. No danger. You're well in front. The only thing you do wrong is miss. That's what she's doing. Oh, she's cut one out. That back angle again. Does, does, does Kylie just try and sit on top of the jack? Yeah, if she can move it a foot, she probably makes three or four. Thank you. 
Well, another one in the catching pen, as we call it. A small trial of that jack's worth a few for Carly. They do have that one back rod, the rink, as Cheryl was saying, the Sammy. Swing. Both bowls or jack in the pit is what they're going for. You dancing, Cheryl? Oh, <laughs> so two to Murray Mally in that mixed pace quarter, mate. Oh, she has went early then, JT. Wow, she went great. I couldn't see. And stopped. Oh, I, I actually thought it was wide out of the hand. She obviously got awfully close oh, to the jack. Wow. She <coughs> went early, did the uh, chances here. Yeah, we could have another massive swing in this game. I mean, just getting another one to three gets him not far away. But if she happens to trail it. Reaching. She's just a bit shy. Okay. Couple. Oh, comeback starts here, you would say. They'd lost the last four previously, so they needed that. Four to go, mate. Four to go in this women's <coughs> pairs final. We saw the conclusion of the men's pairs final earlier. Absolute cracker. Last bowl of the last end it went down to. The uh, Ovens and Murray crew of uh, Robert Mitchell. And Ian Brimble come taking that one out against the two Simons from Sandbelt. Simon Leon and Simon Cannington. And earlier this morning, which feels like an eternity ago, they had the uh, Women's champion, champion of Champions final. Cass Millerick taking that title out for the second year running from the Bendigo Compassive Goldfields region against my new favourite player from Mornington Peninsula, Di Washfold. Two to the Murray Melly team in that game. They now lead 14 to 12 with two wins to play. It's a mixed pairs quarter final happening over there. I am bison that one. Yeah, I noticed that. Good game though. Two very good side teams. Correct. I'll make the call. It's in easy. That's definitely in. Yeah, I can, I'll agree with you on that. They've caught an umpire. Good start from Mary Tregar. Can't really get much better than that. Well, you can. She could touch it. Roger, in easy. Another good ball there by Mary Chagar. Cheryl Atkinson is not far away again. Good leads balls all around. Ridiculous lead balls. We have 
fair effort in the camera singles. Where's he put that camera? It's higher than normal. It's on the roof of the thing over there. He's got far too much time on his hands. Good starters by Jen Lawson on the rink next door. Kylie's bowl coming in now. Not enough. Not a bad home, though. Turn early, yeah. Just puts those bowls up. He's at here, I'm asking for it to hang, and it was always just going to crush the front of the bowls. We are going to the third position bowls. What's Mary got to do? I still say she plays forehand trying to get to the... Uh, lilac. No, yeah. not lilac. L yeah, lilac. No, I'd go lilac. Or violet. That as well. But Cheryl's bowl. <laughs> <laughs> that was good for you, that, JT. Gold star, mate. Still not as cold as some other nights we've been commentating before, Jimmy. It's not even cold. No, it's, it's not literally bad. not even cold. Played. Looking tight, I think. Cheryl, much higher line. It's all on her speed now, because she's looking not bad. And a bit of a chat. Interesting ball here from Brad Campbell. Pretty sure he's got one. For sure. This is the second last end. He's two down on the scoreboard. <laughs> I think he's drawn another. Three. And Liv Cartwright clapped him in and said, I'm glad you're here, Brad. 
three. So BCG <coughs> lead Murray Malley 15 to 14 in that mixed pairs quarter final with the last end about to start. We'll keep you updated on that. Both very uh, well supported bowls regions in Victoria, them two. Kyle is awfully close here. Good ed a small edge was good, a big edge wasn't good. She misses anyway. Sam might run at this. Hit her own. Might clear out all three. Yeah, she's not short of playing. She got no mind. I like her aggressive play. Nervous for the Murray Mally team, Josh. Casper's asking. Nah, Slaxy's out there. He'll be right. She's going it, JT. Picked it. She's not far away. But she doesn't want the first one and then now. Yep, you heard Cheryl saying it two out there. Well done, it's just the one down now. Kylie on a good line. All on her speed now. She can get a good break at the jug. She'll make a few, but... She was just going for the dead draw. One down. Still got two seconds. Yep. And three back. I don't think I go as much weight. I think I just go three for She might go again. Less weight, she's saying. That's what she said, yeah. Oh, I like it. There's no inadverted danger. The only way she could go worse off is she feathered the jack and it went one yard to the you know to the left here as we're looking at the screen and she goes three down. Yeah. Hello. Just going to yes. coach the dad. Is he a brave enough man to disagree with the uh, mother and daughter, or does he just nod his head and say, yeah, here's some more <laughs> confidence, play that shot you want to play? Um, depends how opinionated he is. <laughs> Do you know Mark? No, he's, he's a good bloke. Yeah. Uh, Brody Harker just drawn a shot next door. <clears throat> she's giving the gesture, Sammy, that she's going to go, oh, whooshka. Casper reckons you're up by five, you draw the shot. Fair. Yeah, but he hit the jack down the back like she says, or flick the bowl out. You're up by eight. And as I said, to me, there's no inadvertent danger. Is that a word? Yeah. No. Look it up in the dictionary. Take your word for it. Ox of wine just for you, Jimmy. Mm, it's the only one, isn't it? Slaxy. Shot Brody's drawn a second next door as they are halfway through the end. She's wide. wide. So that five shot advantage Casper spoke about will now be four. We'll have three ends left to go in this uh, women's pairs final. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't get our. Uh, tipping competition going for the staff that we always do at State Champs. I think I would have won it because I would have tipped myself and no one else would have. You would have been the only one stupid enough to tip yourself. I'll be fair. Who are we sending a picture to? Kelly. <laughs> Shh. 
shorter jack. At 24 metres on a set. No, 25. Good call, Shane. Mark does look cold there. <laughs> it's not even cold. <laughs> All right, we've definitely commentated them worse. Oh, uh, way worse. Have you been, have you been spotted? <laughs> Shot from Mary, great stuff. Yeah, greens do look brilliant. A few people commenting. Yeah, Craig then. Do great job here at Bendigo East Bowls Club. They've been doing it since. Uh, Last Monday when the under 18 started. Oh, mum, you're bowling so well. Awesome bowl. Sammy, very happy with her mum's work there. How did Liv Cartwright go in her bowl? Can't quite see. On the uh, mixed pass quarter final game. That jack move, Josh, it did. Yep. Who's holding now? We're about to find out. Yeah, state pennant was cold. It was cold in the mornings there as well. Malama. I still think the Murray Mallee team has shot over there, from what I can tell. It's a bit harder because uh, ITO and and Sam are in our way. Not that they're in our way, but you know what I'm saying. Mm. Cheryl. All right. <laughs> Firing up the girls from uh, Streslecki here. Tuck it in was a call, and she nailed it. Oh, big work to do for the other Mids and Murray parent. Mary Trigar and Carly Whitehead. Now, the coldest, I reckon, was here a few years ago. Yeah, Over. I agree. It was um, <coughs> tracksuit bottoms and jeans and, like, four layers on the top. Like this shot from Kylie, giving it a chance early, try and get something open. Oh. One behind. Fred Campbell's just tried the jack. He's had both the jack for three to them now. They lives at the back. Oh, I think one's lives and one's Brody's, but I'm pretty sure he's mm -hmm. uh, the Murray Mallee team, or sorry, I'll reverse this. The Bendigo Capaspi Goldfields team is holding. Brady's got two to come. Big Spurs quarter final over there. Big half five for Brad Campbell from Olivia Cartwright. Brody is uh, shaking his head. I said to Trisal, he's got a. She said, "Oh, is he the one who played at Bandura?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "He's got, he's got a Josh Corliss vibe about him, and he kind of moves in the same way. Wears a, a." Uh, the same top of hat as him, the bucket hat. They are very good mates. Yeah, and you can see why. Kylie, awfully close here. Very close, JT. Awfully close. Down to this, round the orange. Oh. Tip off the orange. Good bowl. Good home. Very good home. Just the one now. Brody's still looking at the next door, so he's not convinced about what he's going to play yet by the looks of things. Could be one of those ones where you might hunt, clear something off the line, give yourself a chance. You're backing him, Josh. I've seen him play one of the most clutch bowls I've ever seen in my life, so... Don't think he likes this one. Oh. oh, wow. He's just absolutely well, coming off a short ball, walloped ahead. He's two down. Two down, Jenny. He's saying no. Over there. There's still both skips have a bowl left over there. Brad first. And this one, it's still one to um, mum and daughter, Sammy and Chez. She is on fire. 
especially with her first two bowls. Cheryl has been very, very good. Mary's third bowl. Not too far out of the hand. All on speed now. Just a fraction high. Such a tough shot. Mm. You have to get the weight absolutely perfect. It's where I'd be inclined to try and go again early, like a far quicker one, and try and flick at least Cheryl's f first one off the line. Or get the, yeah. the orange one. Like yeah. Just to make it look a bit better. Because at the moment, you've got to play the perfect bowl. Yeah, and on this screen at the moment, it'd be tricky. Good home. Kane, he's one down on the scoreboard, playing the last end, and he's one down on the head. Two, Actually, two, two down, down on the head. head. Posing skipper, Brad Campbell's got one to come, and then Brody's got the last bowl. You'd draw shot if you were here, Kane. <laughs> Did Kane draw shot at all this week? Oh, oh Mary. Mary. She got it neat. Played a superb bowl. Was that like a double kiss from Carly? She I, think it, I think it was, yeah. <laughs> it was like that Italian thank you almost. <laughs> a fair lengthy deliberation between the Mo and my team then. Oh, that was the whole time since we called them shots. Yeah. He's only going to play his bowl now, Brad. Yeah. Brad doing some little pitcher-in-pitcher -pitcher stuff again. Good, clear conversation once again. From I Sammy think Brad's Cheryl. going anywhere near it. Is oh, my little. Wow, mate, she's on heat. Cheryl Atkinson. She's not going to die wondering in this final. She's playing amazing. This bowl of Mary's before JT. Just absolutely perfect. And then if Brad's any good, he'll show the replay of Cheryl's bowl. No, you showed Mary's bowl, Brad. What about the one that's now on the jack? Oh, here we go. Yeah, he hasn't done it. Yeah, he's oh, come on. He slipped. <laughs> Rightio. Good chances here for Kylie. Is she going to land the bowl, turn the jack around the corner? Just going now. Great effort from Kylie. About as close as you can get without touching it. Here is Brody's last bowl. Yeah, so two rinks over. Brody Harker for Murray Malley. He's uh, one down on the scoreboard, two down on the head. He is chasing it hard. Here he goes. Brody Harker calling for it to hold. Misses. Misses the jack. And uh, Liv Cartwright, Brad Campbell. We'll take the win there, 16-14 after 15. So BCG going through in that mixed pairs. Yeah, 
Still, Still chance to see it for Kylie. It's away. We want the jack to here. We'll punch that ball through. Every time Kylie and Mary do look like they might do something, the Atkinson's counter. They've been brilliant. All right, she's on that high line. She's now got to get down. She's got to get under the own. Bow. I'm happy with just the one, Sammy. Yep. Radio. Safe play. Don't mind that. Cheryl and Sam Atkinson are 15 10 up, and we've got two ends to go. Better at the end. All right, it's that time of the day and that time of the game where the Armands and Murray pairing definitely need to win this end. Interested to know whether there's been many mother daughter, father son combinations winning a state title in Victoria. The one off the top of my head that I can think of that may have done it, and that would be a Bob and Peter Middleton. I wouldn't be surprised if they'd won the state pairs together. Sarah, I believe Cheryl's playing with an arrow bowl. Don't quote me on that. It's the only one I don't 100% know. Close from Kylie. Just need to hang around now. <laughs> Come on, the night that gas, but they always match as well. Cheryl and Sammy, when playing yesterday, they're in a red, white, and blue Henselot shirt. It's going to be Mary's that Sammy brings forward.
Cheryl asking this one to hurry a bit. And the house drops up short, so we've only this on one more to go. Mary and Carly are going to have to make sure they control the remainder of this end and check out with a couple of shots, three or four at least. Oh, Gardner helped me out there. Good work. Well, I made a comment before. How many mother-daughter, father-son combination of the red win state titles? Can I look? And I, uh, the Middletons were one. Um, Edwards' name been raised. Fair chance there. One I hadn't forgot about, but up my way. Michael and Mick Legland won the state falls one year. And Chris Ward. There we go. Shez and Sammy won it last, the triples last year. Yeah, they did. Wouldn't be a common occurrence, but that's, you know, still a few. Yeah. It's good. I love it. You said to me off uh, air as well, it would have been you if you had a better performing dad. <laughs> I've got no chance of winning one with him. You would have seen the comments the other night. My brother raved about how we made the last eight in the Australian Open one year. And he reckons he carried me. It's what he lives on. Every dog has its day. Yeah, broken clock is right twice. And he's a broken clock. <laughs> it's getting to do or die now for Mary and Kyla. Yeah, but they've got two or three here, don't they? Couple. The back one's nearly in too. Mm. Yeah, good call, Emma. I, did, I was aware of that one. Why didn't you say it then? Why didn't you say well, it? Well, I actually specifically said mother-daughter, but, you know, it's another combination of family, isn't it? I can just forgot, mate. Don't try and gloss it over there with Emma. No, because it actually popped up in their memories in the last week and they shared it. And I remember seeing it. I thought, yeah, how good's that? Fair enough, mate. I'll grab that shovel off you. Dig yourself out of a hole. What's she doing here then? I think she's got a draw. She's not happy with it out the hand. Jeez, she's not far away. She went that off at that, no? Yeah, that was closer than she thought. Tenning family from Tongala is another one. Well, they are a, a very well-established family with some high credentials. Great little club, Tongala. It's got the viewers thinking at least anyway. They're throwing names at us. Kylie gets a little tickle herself. She could make four or five. Good call, Walt Cole. With uh, Ori and uh, Dave Dawes. Well, Cole was meant to be in that side and he was a sub out. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> comment, Sarah. Oh, close your eyes, Josh. No, nah, no change. I went in the hole in two or three. Oh, oh, I've oh, missed the oh, Marcus call. Oh, back in three here. Brad's 80 inch plasmas <coughs> in the way. Sam's indicated three. Yeah, right. Here we go then. She's looking. 
looking for a fourth. Looks too quick. One, two. <laughs> Good to see you still joining us, Craig. Have seen you up here all week. Recruiting players. Has he tapped you on the shoulder yet? Nah. Oh, he's tapped me twice. <laughs> he knows I don't live in Melbourne, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, the chromey crew. And he's three. Here we go, JT. Hello. Well, we do have an arbiter. Another cracking final out. Um, yeah, the chromies all win multiple state titles, I've no doubt. Yeah, but together, they might all spread out. Last 10, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Sure is, mate. And we're a half a sniffer making our 7.30 dinner reservation to boot. An Italian tonight, cannot wait. Bit of pasta, bit of garlic bread. It'd be maybe cheesy if Tony's involved. Maybe a little splash of red wine. It's going to be great. But so is this bowls. Another down to the wire, finished to go. It's pretty much what we've had in every final so far, which is, as uh, I'm sure it's reached Jeff saying, this is how final should be a West Coast bowls. It's either you or Tim. I presume. The fours came down to it. Singles early was 25-20. The pairs came down to it. Shh, Casper. Casper, don't, Shh. don't say that. Or a dead end, of course. Hmm. Dead one early, didn't we? Yeah, Darren, that's a good call. Don and Sherman, and maybe one of the Sherman boys could have won a state title. What about yourself, Daz? You and Jimmy? Well, he would have led with it himself anyway, I reckon, Daz. <laughs> I'll win that fight chain, don't worry about it. I'm a little bit bigger than JT, so I like my food a little bit more. It's debatable. <laughs> I've just seen you lose a fight to a microphone, I think I've got you covered. <laughs> Start from Chez. Two in front, just need to drop a one. I'll win the end. Nothing for short now. Fairly close to having a nibble at the jack. Make it two. I like it. Sam's a fan of this, she says. Like She's calling it in. She's been uh, pretty red hot, as Cheryl Atkins said. She's been fantastic. Even if they don't get the job done here, she can have her head held very high at her performance. She couldn't have given any more, Cheryl. Tonks said father and son won the pairs a couple of years ago. Who though, Tonks? Kyle, he's not far away. Needed a landing flush and just wow. caught an inside edge of it.
Paul Sammy Atkinson. Hmm. 2015, the Sollies. Before my time, that was. Joel and John Simmons as well. Kylie getting the same result twice, JT. As stiff as you get. Back in 89 too. Ah Malone and G Malone. Good head set up for the Shoslaki team. Yeah, they're um saying that you could still draw two inside that and force an extra hand. Finding good bowls. A big moment. Sammy and Cheryl. I'm sure they're trying to all mark up through their bowls. They're doing a pretty good job of that. Yeah, Graham and Matt from so um, Graham and Matt Solly from Portland. RSL a few saying. Right here we go, JT. Eight more bowls to come, and then we'll we should or we might know the winner of 2023 women's pairs. Of course, the winner will go on to represent Victoria at the Nationals over in Perth this year in October. Also a reminder, there is the Vic Shield that um, is contested between the 16 regions over the course of the state championship. So it includes the novice, it includes the over 60s, and it includes the results from this state championships point system of um, getting more points the further you go along and obviously most points for winning an event totaled up by that means Murray Melly's already won two mm -hmm. Ovens and Murray um, are the holders from last year Sammy saying miss Jimmy be wearing the skirt though, Sean. Yeah, I've definitely got better legs. I know Noonan's taken the P155 out of that comment because he knows me brother's useless. Oh, a lot of work to do for Mary and Kylie out. She's... Oh, no. Oh. I could see it going to track down the line at one point then. Yeah, Sammy one in a mum right at the back. Yeah, Zach, I reckon you're on the money. There's going to be some weight coming. <coughs> Thanks, Shane. I'll take that as a back angle compliment. So I'm better than watching a pause come back. But no, I appreciate the kind words, mate. Yeah. I be some aggression, Zach, I reckon. I need a couple of clutch bowls here. Carly Whitehead to keep her and Mary Trigar in this. Little bit high. Gets two of them out. Ooh. Oh, one jam. The one jam, though, now means the jack will definitely kill. Three. They are holding. Not that that really matters because we know what she's going to try and do, Kylie. I'll be playing the blocker. Where can they make two? They can't. So she's going to get the kill. 
that, that's how your, your mindset's got to go. Where can they make two? Um, and if the answer's no, they can't. I mean, the only way they can make two is, is impossible, really, with the jack going out there. There is a gap between the shot bow and the jack where... I mean, the only real slight concern is the uh, edge of the jack onto the bowl behind it and jack coming forward. <coughs> but two down then, um, oh. you can't play for them top of shots. So I think then it is, well, how do I make it harder for it to kill? And it is putting one in front for me. Play the blocker and split the two oranges out the front takes the danger away anyway. Yeah, it's like a double winning combo. That's not going to be our blocker on the line. Right, this is it, JT. Otherwise, the Strzelecki pairing of Cheryl and Sam Atkinson are going to take this title. Kylie's coming down to have a look, but I think she only, she's going to find when she gets down here. She's only got one option. So try and get that jack out of bounds and restart this end. I just really think that's a hard shot, what Mary's calling. I really think it's a million to one. What's she, what she saying? Trying to get the jack back three yards and bring the orange one in and go with it. Well, yeah. You've you got a jam, potentially. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm going to talk too late over the top of the ladies, but it is, it, um, it's a high percentage you get stuck behind that lilac ball. And I think Kylie's... Not won that discussion, but she's got the shot preference that she wants, which is to try and get the kill of this. Spot on, guys. Has been a great game regardless. Here we go. Here we go. Bit high, Josh bit high and that will be it that'll be the completion of this women's <coughs> pairs final we have our winners is the mother and daughter pairing from the Streslecki Bowls region Sam does a little heel kick in the air there uh, Cheryl Atkinson and, Sam and Sammy Atkinson um, take out this title hugely big moment for these two it's their second state title in as many years of course taking the triples down with Maureen Layton um, last year what a terrific game. Right down to the last bowl of the last end. They'll take this one out 18-13. They were holding three at the time. Obviously, the Ovens and Murray pairing trying to kill the end. Mate, what a day. Thanks, Absolute Jimmy. cracker. It's good. Had some great games, great finals. Thank you, for everybody, for joining us. If that weren't enough, whet your appetite for some men's singles actions tomorrow. The field is deep. There's going to be some... Phenomenal games, 25 up as well. Um, great stuff. Enjoy your evenings. We are running down in the Italian. There is some garlic bread with my name on it. Have a good evening. See you, everybody.